Russia launched one of its largest aerial attacks on Ukraine since the war began nearly three years ago, marking another brutal escalation in the ongoing conflict. Ukrainian officials reported that a massive wave of missiles and drones targeted the country's energy infrastructure, severely damaging the grid and causing widespread power outages. The barrage included approximately 120 missiles and 90 drones. It struck cities across Ukraine, damaging vital energy infrastructure and aggravating Ukraine's dire power shortages as winter looms. In Kiev, explosions rang out in the early morning, with debris from a drone hitting a residential building and injuring one person. Ukrainian media reported numerous explosions in Zaporizhia, Odessa and Mykolaiv in the south and Chernihiv in the north. On Saturday, Russia announced attacks on multiple Ukrainian targets, including a military airport. Moscow also claimed to have gained control over two settlements in the Donetsk region. Ukraine, on the other hand, said it repelled multiple Russian offensives. Ukraine's energy operator, DTEC, announced an emergency power cuts in the capital, Kiev, and in central or several eastern regions that have seen intense fighting in recent weeks. These strikes come as Ukraine faces mounting challenges on the battlefield, with its forces retreating against advancing Russian troops. The war, which is set to reach its third anniversary in February next year, has become increasingly difficult for Ukraine amid concerns over the future of Western support after Donald Trump returns to the White House next year. Ukrainian Foreign Minister expressed alarm over the potential impact of Trump's presidency, while Ukrainian President Zelensky hopes that the war in Ukraine will end faster under Trump. I think the war will end, and not in the abstract. There is no exact date, but with the policy of the team that will now be leading the White House, the war will end faster. This is their approach, the promise to their country, and for them, it is also very important.